What's up everyone, Trent here at Precision Transmission. We got this 1965 Plymouth Valiant in the house and it is beautiful guys. You don't see many of these old cars, if any. I've never seen one, so uh, if that just tells you anything. I'm well, I'm young, I'm 30, but still, they're not around. But this thing, full out blown race car. Got a 904 transmission in it, trans brake. We're gonna be rebuilding it, puke the fl fluid out of the front. But we have big old meaties on the back of this thing. It pops wheelies and gets down the track. So we're gonna get the transmission out of this one. We've got the transmission ready to come out. Just kind of kind of show y'all a couple things under here. The gentleman just bought the vehicle not too long ago. Been setting, took it out to the track and uh, didn't get too many passes out of it. Probably the reason why, and we're gonna be changing this. Whoever put the cooler underneath the car, they put it right underneath the car, right at the header. So this thing, this is a tranny brake 904 transmission. This thing can never cool down. It is always gonna be hot. No fan being cooked by the header. That is just a big no-no. You know, if they'd have ran it a lot back farther, got some air underneath a bit, possibly. But you need a fan doing stuff like this. Well, what we're going to do is we got a nice AN uh, fan and cooler coming up here. We're going to be putting it here. This fan here is going to be on the back side of the cooler. And we're going to be push, putting it as a puller. So it's going to pull through the radiator. And then our new fan, new cooler, it's going to be a pusher. So it's gonna push there through the cooler or, and through the radiator and then our other one's gonna suck everything through the radiator and cooler. So, a little bit of underneath this thing. Get a look at the flex plate, a little bit of converter. But we're gonna get this thing all cleaned up. She looks like she's been in there a while. We're gonna do all of our nice treats to it gonna be a new ride so let's get this thing out and see what it looks like well, got the transmission coming out of our valiant over here beautiful 904 it looks used and abuse i think she's been in there a couple years that little dinky thing have y'all guys ever seen a flex play like that before now you have Thing, huh? Isn't that crazy? It does it have a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even That's see how that works, but it like works. A, a small bolt pattern and a large bolt pattern, depending on what motor you have in here. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is a 904 transmission. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. Yep. A yes, lot sir. Of, uh, they, do, they put these trannies in there because of the, extra, the weight inside uh, turning is the mass is a lot smaller. Where if you put, they make a small block 727 uh, tranny and it's got the same size clutches that's in there, 48 RE diesels and stuff like that. But the rotating mass is so much bigger that it actually slows the car down a little bit. You know, it might be a half a tenth or something, but when you're trying to go fast, you're trying to go fast. But these trannies here, they just don't last as long. Uh, everything's smaller, input shaft smaller, everything about it's smaller. But I'm kind of curious to get in there and take it apart and see uh, what they actually did to it. So, yep so y'all stay tuned like this lasted a while though lasted a while this bad boy's gonna be on the autopsy table having its blood all over the place guts glory <laughs> so we'll see y'all soon y'all have a wonderful day